Murphy's Neuromyth Busters. What are we going to be looking at today? Well, I've got a bunch of Neuromyths up here, but I think we're going to be looking at the king of Neuromyths, and that's got to be this one here. We only use 10% of our brains. Hmm, I bet you've heard of that one before. Is it true? Well, let's take a look. Aha! Uh -huh. You know, a lot of people claim that Mr. Calvin Klein is the person that came up with this. I'm sorry, that's Albert Einstein. But you know what? Albert was never a neuroscientist. In fact, that's him drawing a brain right there. Some people even claim it might have come from peanuts. I've got my eye on little Woodstock over there. But you know what? It doesn't really matter where the rumor started. Okay? What we have to think about is why it's still around. This is one of the most die-hard neuromyths on the planet. I think I've got an answer. You've probably seen a brain scan before. Now this is from an fMRI, okay? And you know what? This is telling you what part of the brain is in usage. What percentage would you say is lit up right now? Well, how about this scan? Or this one? You know, every scan you've probably seen in the brain probably looked like something a bit like that. Or like this. I think this may have a lot to do with the longevity of this die-hard neuromyth. But you know, you got to think about it. We are organic. A lot more organic than a lot of us would want to believe. Just like this plant here, our whole body, and especially our brain, needs special attention. It needs oxygen, it needs the blood to come through, okay? Now, think about this plant here. If a plant doesn't get enough light and it doesn't get enough water or air, what happens? it quickly withers. You know what? It's pretty much the same thing in our brain too. If we have a stroke, and that's like um, when a brain vessel pops and blood starts seeping out, okay? And parts of the brain don't get enough oxygen or blood, areas of our brain actually start to die, okay? Within a few minutes. Now, if it were true that we only used, say, 10% of our brains, those areas would actually have to start dying off. And eventually, we'd end up looking like this. We would not be able to function if we only had 10% of our brains. So. To this notion we only use 10% of our brain, I've got to say, this is Neuromyth Busted. I'm Robert S. Murphy, and this has been brought to you by the Murphy School of Education. See you next time.